afternoon, my name is Claire Drake and I'm from Kirklees Visual Impairment Network, or KVIN for short. And I'm joined this afternoon by Mark, who's one of our service users and also recently has joined us as a volunteer as well. Um, and this, this afternoon we're going to discuss everything that's happened with the COVID-19 lockdown, which was quite some months ago now when that started, and discuss what that's meant for visually impaired people and what, what KVIN have done in response to that. So thank you, Mark, for your time. Thank you, Claire, for having me. Thank you for joining me. So we'll make a start. So when lockdown started all that time back in, in March, Mark, what changed for you? What, what difference, what change happened in your life as a result of that? From being out every day nearly to being stuck in and just going out with it dope once a day. Yeah. And that no contact with a lot of people. So a big that, difference, really. Yeah, very big difference. And when, when you mention your dog, Mark, um, who, who, who's your dog? <laughs> <laughs> Simba, my guide dog. Your guide dog. So it's important still to be going out with him. Um, yeah. But it's not quite the same. And um, before lockdown, how were you involved in KVIN? Uh, well, before lockdown, I was just a service user. I used to go to Huddersfield Group to drop in and uh, over to Julesbury. So that was, um, that, was that sort of twice a week? Yeah, twice a week and that, and if you needed any help with any tech, there were pe people there to support you and it's just a good organisation with some lovely people in. Yeah, so just a nice opportunity to meet other people, yeah. to get some tech help if you needed it. Yeah. So um, when, when lockdown kicked in, KVIN weren't able to do those groups anymore and we weren't able to open um, but we we sort of tried to come up with some alternatives um, so that people could still meet so what have you been involved in since lockdown started? Uh, I've been doing the Zoom chats and then well just mainly the Zoom chats mm -hmm. and so before lockdown, had you ever used Zoom before? No, not at all. No, I don't think most of us had heard of it, had we? <laughs> no. so, so how did you manage to learn how to use Zoom if, if you, you weren't able to come and get help with that? Well, well, one of the staff phoning me up and that and explaining the way through it. Brilliant, and then through doing that, you were able to get on it and get to grips with it. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> we we all have like teaching problems. Yeah, a bit of a miss for the start. Yeah. And is is there anything else that you've um, got involved in, in with KVIN that we've been doing during lockdown? Well, the, uh, well, now I've become a volunteer during lockdown, and I've just been uh -huh. doing some. Uh, I've even doing been doing some tech support myself with yeah. one or two people. So what's that involved? Just talking somebody through on phone how to use different app, different apps on the phone. Lovely. And is that something that you were using much before lockdown or has that been a bit of a learning curve for you as well? I, I, I was using some of it before lockdown but a lot of it's been a big learning curve for me as well. So, so when, I've, when I've got that information myself, I've passed it on and tried helping others. Yeah. So do you think lockdown and not being able to get out and about as much as you used to, do you think that was a bit of a motivation for you to think up something to do that you could do at home and, you know, pass your time and learn something new? Yes. Yeah. Big, big, big motivation. Yeah. When we haven't got other things to distract us <laughs> and keep us busy. Yeah. So, um, Sort of overall, the being able to sort of get tech support and help other people and being involved in the Zoom chats. What what difference do you think that's made for you to be able to still be involved in KVIN, even though we've not been able to meet in person? 
it's just up to keep your mind working on that and uh, you get support of other people on the Zoom chats and anybody's got any problems. Some, you know what I mean? If you just message somebody and that, they'll message you back. Mm -hmm. So it makes you feel like you're still sort of part of the community and part of something. Yeah, yeah it does, yeah. And do you think do you think other people with um, sight loss who were involved in us, do you think they have probably gained the same things? From these yeah. activities, yeah, because I mean, like when we the online shopping with uh, problems that people were having before, and that, and then people mm-hmm. passing information to how to get about it. Yeah, everyone was helping each other, weren't they? When uh, yeah, yeah. people had problems with their online shopping, yeah, it was a big one at the time, wasn't it? A big problem. It was, yeah. So um, thank you ever so much, Mark, for your time to sh- in sharing your story of, um, of lockdown with KVIN. Yeah, no problem.